I can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. So for question seven over here, uh, determine the moment of inertia, show the area of the about the x-axis, and we're going to use a horizontal rectangle for this one. So and now this this here over here would be dy, and this would be x over here, right? We're gonna plug into x uh, uh, y values to see where and where we're gonna get a high uh, x value. All right, so x is the height and dy is the width. So uh, since we're doing using the x-axis, uh, we're using the eyeball method, right? Looking at this way, the centroid of this tri rectangle of the x-axis is right in the middle. So we are allowed to use the um, y-score value uh, dA. We're allowed to use just this simple equation over here. So dA, uh, dA equals y squared, dA equals um, dy uh, times x, right? So we have to write um, x in terms of y. So let's simplify that real quick. Um, uh, 1 minus 1, 0.5x uh, equals 2 minus 2x squared. I mean, y squared equals x, right? Divided by 0 0.5 equals times negative 2. So minus negative, uh, minus uh, 2 to two times x, or y to the power of 2. And negative 1 becomes positive 2. So now we can plug everything into over here. So dy and x equals 2 minus 2y squared over here. Uh, dx, dy, sorry. Uh, and this is, we're plugging into y value to get us x value, so it should be the range of from 0 to 1 over here. And uh, yeah, let's solve the integral real quick. Oh, before that, we can simplify something. 1 to the power of this, uh, 1 to the power of 4, and 0, 1, dy, right? So, y 2 to the power of 3 over 3, uh, 1 to 0 minus uh, 2 to the power of 5, uh, to the power of 5 over 5, and this is 1 to 0. So simplify equals 2 over 3 over 2 over 3 minus uh, 2 over 5. Find a common denominator that would be 10 over 15 minus 6 over 15 which give us 4 over 15 and that is a millimeter uh, sorry this time is meter to the power of 4 and that is the moment of inertia around the x-axis so good luck on your studies uh, I'll see you in my future videos bye if you have more questions uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.